Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 546. Lung Volumes. What are the four different lung volumes? The four different lung volumes includes the tidal volume, the inspiratory reserve volume, the expiratory reserve volume, and the residual volume. Describe all the different lung volumes. So when a person is just doing normal inspiration and expiration, this is the quiet breathing. The amount of air that comes into the lung with each quiet inspiration is your tidal volume. And this is around 500 ml. Now after you do a normal inspiration, you still have the capacity of breathing in more air if you needed to. So the amount of air that can still be breathed in after a normal inspiration is your inspiratory reserve volume. Now on the other side of the spectrum, after you do a normal expiration, you still have the ability of breathing out more air from your reserve and this would be the expiratory reserve volume. So this is the amount of air that can still be breathed out after a normal expiration. Now after you do a maximum expiration, the amount of air you still have left over in your lung would be your residual volume. This is the air you are not able to breathe out because this is the amount of air that will always be in the lungs. So this is the air that is in the lung after maximal expiration. And this residual volume cannot be measured on spirometry. Name the different type of lung capacities. The lung capacities includes the inspiratory capacity, the functional residual capacity, vital capacity, and the total lung capacity. What is inspiratory capacity? Now, as we already mentioned the different lung volumes, this should kind of help you understand the capacities. So the inspiratory capacity is the total amount of air that can be breathed in. So this includes the tidal volume plus the inspiratory reserve volume. So basically, this is the maximum inspiration you could do. What is functional residual capacity? Functional residual capacity is the volume in lungs after normal expiration. So this measure includes the expiratory reserve volume and the residual volume. What is vital capacity? Vital capacity is the maximum volume of gas that can be expired after a maximal inspiration. So after you take the longest inspiration, the maximum amount of gas that you are able to expire is your vital capacity. And this is the sum of tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, and expiratory reserve volume. What is the total lung capacity? The total lung capacity is the volume of gas present in the lungs after a maximal inspiration. And this is the total of all the volumes, which includes the tidal volume, inspiratory reserve volume, expiratory reserve volume, and the residual volume. What is the mnemonic to help you remember the different lung volumes? The mnemonic is to remember the word liters, and that's L for lung, I is for inspiratory reserve volume, T is for tidal volume, E is for expiratory reserve volume, and R is for the residual volume. And so the word liters makes perfect sense because all these volumes are also measured in liters. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.